So it is the start of the year almost. And I'm curious for our listeners what you do at the start of the year to, you know, to help you set yourself up well. Yeah, great question. I would say what I do at the end of the year, I need to do more of, which is reflect. Mm -hmm. Um, I do think that reflection is a part of restoration and it's a part of learning. Mm -hmm. Uh, In the fast paced world that we're in, it's difficult to find time and make time to reflect. Um, It's particularly important for me anyway, but in this role specifically at the end of the year, reflect on where we've been, how, how might that influence the direction as I look forward, as I need to be doing in the role that I have. Um, So there's a process I go through to sort of step back, create space for myself. This takes time. It takes a commitment that the fast paced world tends to rob, but to create that time for reflection and then say, okay, so what now, what, how Mm -hmm. does that Mm -hmm. apply going forward? I, there's something that my father taught me that I was, that when I was learning how to drive that, that, uh, I always remember. And I think about it in this way, as you kind of look forward, he said, when you're driving at night, your, your focus should be at the farthest reach of your headlights. Mm -hmm. And when your focus is there, your eyes and your mind will see everything that's going on between that end of your vision and the windshield. Mm -hmm. And he said, if you're focused on the hood ornament, all you'll see is what's going on between the hood ornament and the windshield. And when that deer jumps out, you will hit it, right? So as you think about looking forward, Mm -hmm. what are the farthest reaches of your vision? How can you challenge yourself to push as far out as you can, and that will set a direction for you that the the winds and the turbulence and everything else that goes on in our world today, you'll have that vision in mind and you will stick to that direction. 